I'm Penny St, and I'm the host of Peace with Penny. In Tuesday's episode, we'll be speaking with Esther Herzog, the founder of Shin, the Israeli movement for equal representation of women. Shin was started in February 1989 and was founded with the aim of achieving equal representation of women in all power centers in Israel, whether political, public, or economic. The movement struggles for gender equality in all communities in Israel. Shin initiates projects that raise feminist awareness by organizing numerous events that provide platforms for outstanding feminist activists and professionals in divergent sectors and fields. It empowers young women and encourages their leadership involvement, promotes cooperation and friendship among Jewish and Arab women, and facilitates vocational and political courses. As you know by now, Peace with Penny is concerned with peace primarily between Israelis, Arabs, and Palestinians, and we're looking forward to hearing more about Shin's accomplishments, bringing together both Jewish and Arab Israeli women working together to improve their society. But what got this Jewish American woman interested in working on peace thousands of miles away from her West Coast home? It was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run! Run to the bomb shelter, sweetie! Please! Please hurry! I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12-foot by 24-foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom! Boom! I hear it and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13-year-old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes. And I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me. And you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. We hope you can join Esther and me as we talk about their work at SHIN, the Israeli Movement for Equal Representation of Women, who are helping to protect women in Israeli society and marginalized communities. Ultimately, by working together, they work on peace. If our timing doesn't fit your personal schedule, you can see the recording on my website at www.penny, the letter S, like Schwartz, tee.com under podcast or on the Peace with Penny YouTube channel. The need for basic equality as humans doesn't seem like it would require years to implement and debate still persists, but this is the reality in Israel as it also is in the U.S. As a human who happens to be female, I find this frustrating and disappointing. Thankfully, there are organizations like SHIN, the Israeli Movement for Equal Representation of Women, and continuing to carry forward the fight. Our prayers continue to go out to the people of Ukraine. And as always, we conclude with a prayer that everyone will someday live in peace, shalom, and salam. Music